the SFI's UK unit is going to be screening the BBC documentary in different cities in the UK. What they're showing for you on your screens right now is a poster of the same. I'll allow you to look at it for just a second, then we'll connect with a reporter to bring us more details. My colleague Shireen Elizabeth is with us live on this story. Shireen, just bring us more context. SFI being Students Federation of India? Shreena, are you able to hear well, me? Well, that is right. This yes. is the uh, Students Federation of India, UK unit. Uh, and uh, they are, have, in fact, uh, put out this call that in UK, in different cities in UK, they are going to do the screening. So now this is happening. We have seen the reports of how the Indian diaspora is protesting against the BBC documentary outside the BBC uh, office headquarters in London. Meanwhile, the SFI uh, UK unit is, in fact, planning to inf uh, screen the uh, documentary, BBC documentary, in different parts of the cities. Now, they have put out a number of posters, so starting from uh, University of Edinburgh, the University of uh, Brunel uh, University, uh, University of Sussex and University of Manchester and uh, Sheffield, Sheffield Halam University. So these are the universities where the Students' Federation of India, the UK unit, are going to screen the BBC documentary. So we can see the contrast while there are Indian diaspora which are protesting against this BBC documentary in UK, uh, there are in fact the SFI unit which are going to go ahead with the screening. Uh, of uh, the BBC documentary in different universities uh, today, starting uh, afternoon is what they have told us. Okay. And uh, Shireen, can you just bring us more context? You've just shared with us what uh, the SFI itself has said. But I want to understand, and we're also, once again, let me just tell our audiences, we're also playing for our audiences the, the locations that these different screenings are going to be taking place at. I want to understand from you, Shireen, can you bring us more context on the kind of support that the SFI enjoys in the UK? How large, for example, are their units across the country? Well, SFI is in fact a left-leaning students organization and it is mostly popular in down south, specifically in Kerala. And that is why even when you see in India, uh, when there are in fact protests that are happening in the national capital, for example in Jamia or JNU, where the SFI has in fact called out uh, for the screening of BBC documentary, very few students are part of uh, uh, the SFI unit. Uh, the SFI on the other hand has been saying that in UK we have uh, this political organization where a number of students in different different universities are part of the Students' Federation of India and they have taken this call that they are going to screen uh, in different universities. So of course, uh, you know, given if you see the example in India, uh, specifically in Northern India, we have not seen much of a crowd of SFI, though in Kolkata as well as in Kerala, the SFI is very strong and we have seen uh, students in large number coming out and screening the documentary. Uh, we have to see how many of these members are going to be in UK unit, uh, but calls have been made for different universities around five to six, uh, like I repeated earlier, University of Edinburgh, University of uh, Sussex, uh, Brunel University. Uh, apart from that, there is uh, Sheffield Halam University where uh, uh, the BBC documentary is going to be screened by the SFA, uh, SFI UK unit. Now, while there are in fact protests that is going on by the Indian diaspora outside the BBC headquarters, uh, whether the screening of this will be allowed in these universities or the, uh, there will be different, uh, you know, uh, students organization that support uh, that support the government or supports the ban on the BBC documentary. So will there be a clash? All these are, of course, uh, we have to wait and watch for. But the call has been made. We have to see how it goes from here. Okay, all right. Uh, Shireen, thank you for bringing us those details. We're going to move on very quickly from this story to...